friends, we now invite you to join us for the Animation Academy. Please welcome your sketch artist, Alex Mayer. Hey, hey guys, how y'all doing? Yeah. Awesome. Welcome to uh, Epcot's International Festival of the Arts. My name is Alex Mayer, and I am a character artist here at Disney. I've been here for about 30, actually this is actually my anniversary. The year of uh, Disney's 100th anniversary, it's my 30th anniversary, so, thank you. Um, I started actually in 1991, which you do the math, it's a little over 30 years. Uh, I was a contract artist in the beginning, and it took me a couple of years of working in-house as an artist, an art, an art contractor, to get hired on in, in 1993, so, it's my 30th year. And I was actually hired on December 6th, 1993. And uh, which was a Monday morning, I was kind of disappointed when I went to the, uh, went to casting, <clears throat> and I said, "Couldn't you have hired me yesterday, which was Sunday, because that was Walt Disney's birthday?" Yeah. Unfortunately, I got hired on December sixth, which actually is Walt Disney's sister's birthday. So his younger sister, Ruth Disney, was born on December sixth. So, needless to say, I'm a big Disney fan. My mentor at the time was a gentleman by the name of Ralph Kent. He actually started in 1963 at Disneyland, and he got to work with Walt Disney. So, of course, you know, throughout my years of working with Ralph, I heard all kinds of wonderful inside stories about Walt, and I'm just a huge Walt Disney fan. And just trying to uphold the legacy that Walt started, and uh, we just love drawing the characters. I see some friends that are artists over here. Um, <laughs> actually, um, so anyway, I actually do a lot of merchandise art. I've actually um, pretty much have drawn every Disney character there is out there since 1991. Uh, um, mostly Mickey Mouse. I remember Ralph telling me that the first 100,000 Mickeys are the hardest to draw. So 100,000 Mickeys, my God. I don't even think I've actually reached 100,000 Mickeys yet. But uh, I, I got on the pin team in 1999. I was uh, put on the pin team. I didn't know what that meant. But uh, we all know that pin trading became really big in the millennium. And uh, so I've been creating a lot of thousands and thousands of pins since 1999. So uh, all the, I, I participated in all the pin events and um, all the special events are for pins and different uh, collectible events. I've participated in those. I do a lot of paintings for the galleries. Uh, if you Google my name, you'll see, uh, you put Alex Mayer Disney, you'll see a lot of my art uh, on, the, on, the, on the websites. But, um, Anyway, uh, I actually also created the characters for, I did design the logo for the Millennium Celebration, which was that, you know, celebrate the future hand in hand, and I think it had the 2000 with Mickey, Donald, and Goofy holding hands, so I kind of came up with that whole thing, so that was fun. But since then, I've created many, many different character art, uh, pieces of character art. So today we're going to draw some of my favorite characters, I just love these characters. Um, we're going to draw Winnie the Pooh. And they're simple little characters, but they're really, really, they just, they got great personalities. And I got to know one of the, one of Walt's animators named Bill Justice. He was an animator on Winnie the Pooh. He actually did the sequence when he's doing his little stretching exercises, little exercises in front of a mirror. And uh, so Bill used to tell me all kinds of stories about working on Winnie the Pooh. And Bill was also considered the father of Chip and Dale. So he created most of the Chip and Dale cartoons. So I will go ahead and we'll start. I'll bring up my trusty pencils if you want to draw along. We're going to go ahead and just draw. Some, uh, we're going to start with circles. All our characters kind of, they all start with circles. Walt, Walt started uh, kind of, when he created Mickey Mouse, he was all made up of circles because he felt circles were nice and round and soft and friendly. There's no any angles on, on Mickey. So um, he was instantly, um, a, it had an appeal to him because of his circles. So pretty much all our characters are based off of circles. So we can start on the page. We're gonna go ahead and start very lightly. You'll see on above me there. Um, I'm gonna start kind of right over here. We're gonna just start very lightly, just kind of draw in a circle. So we're gonna do a three-quarter view of Winnie the Pooh. So we're gonna kind of do a circle pretty much like that. I don't want to get, tell me if I'm going too fast or too slow. And I'm going to put it down. So, from here we're going to kind of do like a guideline, like a, since we're going three quarter, we're going to bring a, just a guideline right about there. And 
we can lightly do another cross line there, like that. Yeah, this, yeah. We're going to bring a, a line out from the top of that circle, kind of like just angled down a little bit, kind of something like that. You can see where we're going with that. It's kind of the edge of his head, and it's where his eyebrow is. When we finish uh, doing some of our guidelines, we'll go ahead and later on and kind of thicken up all the lines that we want to keep. So from here, I'm just going to kind of do another guideline, kind of the top where his eyebrows go. One here, and of course, you've got that center line, and you can bring up a little line like right about there. So in between these two crosshairs, we're going to do like an oval at an angle, kind of tilted oval. See like that? Simple, right? Sorry to come together. So if you're with me, we'll go ahead and I'll add like his nose. He has a rounded, it's a rounded triangle. So at the tip of that circle, or that oval there, kind of put in something like that. Three sides, three sides, three angles, three curved lines. One, two, three on top. And we can already see poo in there. So for now, I'm going to do like an S kind of shape curve from this line up here. We're going to kind of come in, kind of curve that out, kind of come around. kind of an angle line here again kind of give me an, an idea where his eyes go so we're going to go ahead and put in his eyes he's got just black little pupil eyes so we're going to do little ovals one about right about here and then his eyes are pretty far apart eyes and those people are going to add curved line, just a little bit of a curved line, like that. And then from there we're going to do another arc, like an arc from the top of his nose. some rolls and so at the back of his neck I should first say I'm gonna add another little roll back here so Here, a little 
little bit of a top angle and then bring it around. And then just do another little curve inside to show the inside of his ear, a little indication of the inside of his ear. From there, we're going to do the other, the other ear, which comes out on the outside of the head there. Again, curve, curve, and down. And you can put a little bit of hint of uh, inside of the ear too. So from there, we're going to go ahead and add his eyebrows. And he's got little, um, just little eyebrows are kind of roughly drawn in. So we're going to, above his eye, where that line that we did, it kind of curves down. And just kind of fill him in like this. Kind of rough. And on the other side as well. And to show that he's got some nice little fat cheeks, we're going to add a little bit of a line underneath his eye there. So kind of coming out from the edge of his eye, kind of just bring out two little lines. Kind of gives that cute little smile lines. So for there, we're going to go back to this muzzle, his snout, and we're going to go ahead and start finishing that off. He has got a nice curve from the edge of his nose, kind of comes down, and then another angle underneath, another curve. And then the back, you want to bring it up. It's pretty simple, right? I love John, these characters. This is such fun characters. Does anybody know who did the voice of Winnie the Pooh? Jim Cummings? You know, Jim actually does it currently. See, that's my, my age I'm showing. I'm showing, talking about the original. <laughs> the original. Uh, the original was Sterling Holloway. And he was also the voice of Ka the Snake in Jungle Book. And a few other characters. Do another uh, line to show his cheek. And from there, we're going to do like a, a almost like a U shape, kind of like a almost like a Y. We're going to kind of have his mouth open, a nice smile open. So we're going to just bring this line down, bring that line down, and kind of meet up. Why? I do the opening mouth. I open up his mouth there. From there, we're going to add uh, just a little curve in here. We're going to just indicate his tongue.
actually at the top of his shoulders. Indication of his shoulder. Maybe add a little indication of the front of his shirt. So pretty much we've got food down. And now we're going to go ahead and start thickening in the lines that we want to keep. So we're going to, to start filling in your line work. Just kind of thickening in the top of his head. We're going to kind of curve this in a little bit and then round this off. Just start bringing all your lines. Start folding up your lines. And then we can go ahead and darken in that nose. Push fill in his eyes. You can actually shade in the inside of his mouth lightly. Make sure you sign your name. And if you like, you can date it. I mean, no, today's date it. for joining us for this presentation of the Animation Academy.